Well, as you can see, the probe into April's deadly ferry accident has many dimensions. Prosecutors in Gwangju uh, near the accident site have been uh, investigating the Coast Guard's actions in the morning of the disaster. And on Tuesday, they arrested the captain of a patrol boat that was tasked with saving lives from the ferry. The first such arrest of a Coast Guard official in the ongoing investigation. Here's our Park ji -won. Prosecutors arrested the captain of a Coast Guard patrol boat that was tasked with saving lives from the then sinking Sewolhu ferry in mid April. The Gwangju District Prosecutor's Office, which has been proving the Coast Guard on the Sewolhu ferry disaster, arrested the 53 year old fisher, identified only by his family name Kim, on Tuesday. Kim was the chief of the Mokpo Coast Guard's patrol boat at the time of the disaster and is alleged to have ripped off official work records and fabricated new records that same day. The prosecution suspects he did so to cover up errors committed by the Coast Guard in its initial response to the ferry disaster. If he's found to be responsible for the failed rescue operation, during which only victims who were in the water were saved, prosecutors say they would consider charging Kim with negligent homicide. It's the first time authorities have taken into custody a Coast Guard official who was engaged in rescue operations at the disaster scene and comes amid mounting criticism of the maritime agency. Student survivors of the accident providing testimony in court on Tuesday against the sunken ferry's captain and crew members said there appear to be more fishermen involved in the rescue operation than Coast Guard officials. They told a panel of judges they want those responsible within the Coast Guard to be punished severely. Sewol Ho Captain Lee Jun Seok and 14 of his crew are currently on trial, accused of charges ranging from negligence to homicide. Park Ji Won, Arirang News.